Let's attempt upgrading from Windows Server 2003 to Windows Server 2022, shall we? Hi friends, today I'm here with another video and today in this video I'm going to attempt to upgrade from Windows Server 2003 all the way to Windows Server 2022. So this is part 1 and the ending point for this video is um, Windows Server 2012 and without ado, let's start. So for this video, I'm going to do this in a virtual machine. I'm going to create one and I'm going to choose here Windows. Let's see what can we choose here. Well, I'm going to choose now Windows Server 2016 because I'm going to install now Server 2003, but I'm going to. So it. But the point for this is to do this to upgrade with no issues about CPU instructions or I think you get my point. I'm gonna name this virtual machine massive server upgrade in brackets free 2022. And now let's just venture's BIOS. We'll just keep one and two here for now. We're okay with 2 gigs RAM for now. Now we're going to choose IDE. 60 gigabytes is okay. And now let me just add the ISO image really quickly. But I'm going to change this to IDE01. Because we don't want any blue screens on server 2003 because it's a bit old. And now let's just power on this virtual machine and let's install it. So I'm not gonna spend too much time throughout the setup, but I'm gonna talk briefly. No. Now let's just load the setup from here. Hopefully, I won't have any blue screens. Because I set the version to server 2016, I believe, and I'm installing server 2003, but I can see that for now I have no issues. Yes, you can see we have like standard edition from here. I'm gonna format using the NTFS file system really, really quickly. And now, so, now we'll just install this thing with no issues, hopefully. I don't know, maybe you guys like these entertainment style videos that I like to do, but I don't really do them a whole lot because they didn't get as many views as I usually get. But it doesn't matter, I just kind of like, maybe you like, who knows. And let me know if, what do you think about these. Now, this is a weird topic, but uh, for this video, but it's weird to upgrade for server versions because, as some of you may know, these shouldn't be turned off. Like the server should be on, hooked up to the internal network, like 24/7. But we're gonna attempt to upgrade for the versions, which because I've seen installing like servers in virtual machines. Now it's rebooting, like I've seen, but they shouldn't be really turned off. And here we go, we have Microsoft Windows, this this is looks really really similar to Windows XP. And now this will complete, it says in approximately 39 minutes, which I highly doubt that's going to take that long. It'll take about 5 minutes or so because this is a 64-bit version plus, plus I added about 2 gigs of RAM which probably should exceed... Uh, yeah, just using 120 megabytes of RAM so we should be good to go. 
okay my mouse behaves a bit <laughs> weird but it doesn't matter now I'll be back when once this is installed alright so this thing hasn't installed it's been actually a few hours since the last clip not that it took like an hour to install server 2003 but because I was doing some other stuff in the background so let's just so you control alt delete to begin and there we go we are going to be logging in and here click on finish and so now I'm going to go to properties and see increased resolution to 1024 by 768 or maybe 800 by 600 so we can see everything in a good resolution I'm going to move the security configuration wizard and add a new text document called upgrade log and now type hello I am starting this document in Windows Server 2003, if I can spell correctly. It's 5:14 p.m. and today's date is February 28th, 2023. Installed. Windows Server 2003 and I'll save that this thing is executable but we don't care about it we need to move the quick launch to the unlock the taskbar and attempt to make a text document there we go. Now, let's open up my computer and see how much we have. We've used 3 gigabytes for now. That's great. And now I'm going to add a new briefcase. And I'm going to rename it to 2003. And move it over here. I'll move the taskbar over here. and. Make it like that so, so we can only see the Windows flag and add, for example, the desktop or let's not and make it smaller enough to see the Windows flag and lock it. And what else I want to do is go into properties and go to advanced and make some modifications for example for color one let's go to black and for color to make and size and then make them a bit bigger and the font let's see what font show we go let's go for example with comic sans and do the size like 12 there we go i'll go to italic and okay that's a nice Font and apply. Okay, that's that's good. <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, it's a bit funny, but it doesn't really matter. And now I'm gonna move on to server 2008. And let's just go to settings here and find the ISO. license terms and go to upgrade. Okay, 
will see to upgrade to Windows Server. Service Pack 2. So we have to upgrade this thing, I believe, to Service Pack 3. So I'm gonna do that. But let's see what WinWorld will see. Service Pack 1. So I'm gonna update the Service Pack and I'll be back once I update it. So I have updated this thing to service pack 2 and now we to add the ISO. One thing that I did between these two clips is, you know, I like changed, made some custom color scheme and pinned some things to the taskbar and that's what I did. upgrade and now let's see if we can upgrade which I think we should because I updated this to service pack 2 and let's see let's see here that nah, doesn't matter there we go now we'll just start the up uh, the upgrade and there we go so let, now let's see if we can up to 2008 and then to 2012 and that's how I'm gonna end off this video and in part 2 we're gonna upgrade to 2016, 2018 and, in 20, and we'll end off with server 2022. And now I'll be back when this thing gets installed and the recording will continue the next day. Have, we have Windows Server 2008 installed. There we go. We're at in the next day of the video, and let's see what do we have. So it did did not keep any of our custom team preferences. And this is Windows Server 2012 release two. So we're just not gonna upgrade for every single version but it doesn't really matter let's just now run the setup from here servers 2012 release standard that's what we're gonna go with we're gonna agree to the license terms and click on next and click on upgrade cannot be upgraded second one is server with a GUI I forgot let's see if we can do that we can. Windows Server 2008 cannot be upgraded Windows Server 2012 standard evaluation you can choose to install a new copy, but this is different from an upgrade. Like install. Okay, so we can't really upgrade from server 2008 to 2012, which yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. But I think I. But now I'll download Windows Server 2012 release one because this is release two, and I'll be back when. When I'm when I download it. All right, so we actually can upgrade now. So let's click on next, and let's just hope for the best. Well, everyone, it seems that the upgrade isn't wasn't successful, as we can see by this error message because it's blue screen. I don't know exactly why, but this um, that's one that's how I'm gonna end off this video and. I'll be back with part 2 the next week and and hope for the best. Make sure you have liked this video, subscribe if you enjoy if you want more entertainment style videos. Let me know in the comments down below. Bye bye!